Number five, your car's 30 watt headlight and 2.4 kilowatt starter are, are ordinarily connected in parallel, a uh, tongue twister, in a 12 volt system. What power would one headlight and the starter consume if connected in series to a 12 volt battery? All right. So first thing is, um, yeah. So first thing, here's a parallel arrangement, right? And what I'm going to do, let me change this color to like blue. All right. And let me change this to maybe green. So... Let's say this is the 30 watt headlight, and then this is the 2.4 kilowatt starter. By the way, I don't want to work with kilowatts and, and watts. I want to work with consistent units. So this is going to be 2,400 watts now, okay, the starter. And this is going to be 30 watts. All right. Now, in parallel, you have to remember that voltage is constant. I remember it by the acronym VP. Voltage is constant in parallel, okay? So, uh, what we now re realize is that they told us now the voltage, the total voltage in the system. It's a 12 volt system. So in other words, I know the voltage over this resistance. The voltage is going to be 12 volts. I also know the voltage over that resistance. That's also 12 volts. So in order to now calculate, let's say something right about this, maybe I wanna calculate the current or maybe I wanna calculate the resistance, it depends. Um, but I can now use my formulas from the prior chapter to do so, all right? Now, uh, it also says in the bottom here, it says to neglect any other resistance in the circuit and any change in resistance in the two devices. So I think what they're telling us is maybe we should calculate resistance that might help. All right. So how do I relate now? Remember, this is power. How do I relate power to voltage and resistance? Oh, that's right. We do it via this equation. Power is equal to the voltage squared divided by the resistance. If I want to find voltage, just simply cross multiply. And now I can plug in my values. So I will be talking about the blue, all right, resistor. So that's going to be equal to the voltage applied, which is 12 squared, divided by the power, which was the 2,400 watts. So the resistance now of that car starter, all right, is going to be 12 squared divided by 2,400. So it's about 0 0.6, all right, 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.06, all right, ohms. Now, that's the resistance of the blue resistor, okay? Let's do the same thing for the green. So again, same thing. Resistance is going to be V squared over power. Here I'm going to be solving for the green one. So it's the same voltage, 12 squared divided by the power now, though it's only 30 watts. So here, let's do this. And it's going to be basically 12 squared, right, divided by 30. And we got about 4.8. So 4.8 now ohms, all right, of resistance. So here we go. All right. So now I know that the uh, resistor here is about 0.06 ohms worth of resistance, and the resistance here is going to be 4.8 ohms of resistance. Now what they're asking me, and it says neglect, you right, and assume there's no change of resistance. So now what they're saying is, hey, change the organization. So now these things are going to be connected in series. All right, so let's get rid of all this math. Let's not get rid of the, no, I almost got rid of the numbers, whoops. Right, we're probably going to need these numbers. We'll put it on down here. Okay. And now it's not going to be connected in series anymore. They're going to be connected in, uh, excuse me, they're not going to be connected in parallel anymore. They will be now connected in series. So that means here's one of them. Here's two of them. It does not matter which one you put where. They just got to be connected in series. Okay. So we know this resistance here in green was going to be 4.8 ohms. And the resistance here in blue was 0 0.06 ohms. Now, what in the world are they asking? They're asking for the power, right? They're asking us for the power. What power would one headlight and the starter consume? Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to figure out power. Okay, power, question mark. Power, question mark. I need to figure out the power being, um, what's the word? I guess diffused or whatever you want to call it, consumed by those devices. So we have to remember one thing now that in a parallel circuit, excuse me, in a series circuit, if, if, if this isn't confusing, I'm probably going to confuse you because I'm calling, <laughs> calling my series circuit parallel, and uh, who knows if I called this a series. But this is parallel, this is series, okay? So we have to remember one thing now. Just like we talked about voltage being constant in parallel, the current is now constant in series, all right? So I remember that as IS or IS, Right, current is known as I. 
S for series. So current is constant in series. All right. So now what I need to do is I need to identify now how to find the current. Okay. Now, in order to do this, we have to break this down into a uh, into an equivalent circuit. All right. So in other words, what I need to do is I need to find the resistance in series, the total resistance, or aka the equivalent resistance. All right. So we know we're just going to add those resistances now together. So the resistance in series, the total resistance or the equivalent resistance will simply be 0.06 plus 4.8. When we calculate that now, it's going to simply be 4.86, right? Ohms. All right. So what this is now saying is that this circuit, all right, with two resistances on it, that series circuit is going to be equivalent to this circuit that I'm going to draw. It's equivalent to a single resistor now. Equivalent, not identical to, but equivalent, okay? Because obviously there's two here, and now I'm only drawing one. But it's equivalent to a single resistance on a circuit that has a value of 4.86 ohms. All right? It's equivalent to that. Now, if I told you that the voltage source here was 12 volts, and you knew the resistance, we can now calculate the current, right? Ohm's law, current is going to be equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. So in other words, I realize that I can take my 4.86 and divide it now, oops, I can take my 12, sorry, and divide it by the 4.86. And what does that come out to be? So then now that comes out to be 12 divided by 4.86. So it's going to be 2.47 or so, 2.47 amps. Now, that tells me the amps, the current that is flowing around this circuit. Okay, but that current flowing through this equivalent circuit is identical to and the same as the current that is then flowing through this circuit. So now what I realize is the current now flowing through the first resistor is 2.47 amps and the current flowing through the second one is going to be 2.47 amps. Okay, 2.47 amps. So now what I can do is if I know the resistance of this resistor, and now I know the current, I can find the power, right? How can I do that? Via the formula, power is going to be equal to the, uh, sorry, the current squared times the resistance. So the current is going to be 2.47 squared multiplied by that resistance of 4.8. So power is going to be equal to, let's see what we got. So square that value, I'm using the exact value in the calculator, the 2.4691, whatever, squared times then the 4.8. And we get about 29.2. Hmm, 29.2. Or 0.3, I guess. Watts. Okay. That's kind of close to the 30. Hmm. Let's see what happens to the other one. So power is going to be equal to I squared times R. So the power is equal to now the current squared, so 2.47 squared, multiplied by now that resistance of 0 0.06, right? Okay. So let's do that. So we got the 2.47 squared, multiplied then by 0 0.06. That dropped a lot, right? Power is a lot less now. So 0 0.06. 366. Right? I guess sig figs, yeah, whatever. That's in terms of net watts. Okay? So that's what we got. Now, in just considering the final answer for this, right, it says what power, back to the question, what power would one headlight and the starter consume? So I guess they want maybe the total. All right. So what all we need to do is basically take this value, right? And remember that's rounded. So we're going to use the exact value of the calculator. I'm going to add it to this value. In other words, the total power consumed by this circuit will be equal to the power consumed by the first appliance plus the power consumed by the second. All right. So take the 29.2638 blah, blah, blah that we found for the green one and add it to then the 0.33, excuse me, 0.366 that we found for the blue one. And when we do that, we're going to arrive at now a total power being consumed by both of 29.6, I guess. All right, 29.6 watts. And notice how it's just the total now is just ever so slightly less than the lowest one.
Think about that. All right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. I appreciate it very much if you can. And if you can't, eh, maybe I'll earn your subscription in the next one. All right, take care.